all dolled up on a chilly Monday night. Yes, we are. Our production team have made it a very rare effort. Look at them all. They look beautiful. They do. Sparkly. Even our props man Dave has scrubbed up well. Look at you, Dave. Dave. Now, Fantastic. of course, you'll be wondering why, and it's because our guest tonight is the very definition of glamour. Please welcome, on the snowy winter white carpet, Joan Collins. <laughs> Take a seat, George. Snap, snap, snap. Look wow. at that. I wonder what that music is. I don't know. Oh, it <laughs> takes me back. That. It makes me feel really emotional. Does it? It really does. Yeah. Yes, me too. <laughs> now you do, they, they just caught your eye there, didn't they, our drinks? We've got a little treat for I, you. I saw that. What is that? That's a sort of um, chocolate yeah. uh, moussey thing. Well, you can choose. Basically, we've got chilled champers. All right. And as it's a very cold evening, we'll really? be hot chocolate. Hot yeah, yeah, chocolate. Yeah. Can I have the water? Oh, you can have the water, if that's what you like. I don't drink champagne. Really? It's just a complete fallacy that I drink champagne. I drink on on, on Dynasty, Dynasty. Yeah. I drank um, ginger ale all the time because my character drank champagne, but I don't like it. I drink wine. <laughs> Oh. So now you know. <laughs> well, you, can, you can eat another shampoo of the hot chocolates. Can I have... we'll, we'll sort it out later. Uh, yeah. I know what I'm going for. <laughs> now then, we uh, obviously can't wait to chat to John a little bit later on about the likes, likes of Frank Sinatra, Ben Crosby, Paddy Davis, and a very first panto a little bit later on. But... No, I think you've missed most of the snow. So what, do you try and avoid snow? Do you migrate when it's cold? Well, migrate. <laughs> uh, not exactly, no. But we try to uh, spend uh, more time in California during sort of the late autumn and uh, early winter months. And then, of course, in the summer, I love my house in the south of France. I really want to be there and have my family and children and friends and everything. Sounds so nice. um, I'm not mad about the cold weather, but you know something? I'm English. I grew up with it. So, uh, yeah, sure. I, and it's much colder in New York. Yeah. You know, we just yeah. got in under the wire with mean? this weather. Yes. Well, for the next few months, you're going to be based in equatorial Birmingham because, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this year, Joan Collins, glamorous Hollywood star and fashion icon, is going to be doing... Panto. Oh, no, she isn't. Oh, yes, I am. Brilliant. <laughs> and she's started already. Fantastic. Yes, she is. Uh, she's going to be playing Queen Rat, aren't you, in uh, yes. Dick Whittington at Birmingham Hippodrome. It starts mm -hmm. a week on Saturday. And why Panto now? Well, um, I've been asked to do it for the past 20 years. I've been asked, and um, I didn't. And then I suddenly went um, and started seeing Henry Winkler as Captain Hook. Oh, and I saw... And, Christopher Biggins, and then I, uh, various other people who all said, it is so much fun. And then my little grandchildren said, oh, well, we'd love to see you do it. Why don't you do it? So this was such a lovely part. And, you know, Birmingham Hippodrome is fabulous. And um, I'm with Nigel Hawthorne. Nigel Hawthorne, I'm sorry. Nigel Havers. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nigel. <laughs> Careful, <laughs> bum. And <laughs> yeah, well, he was a great friend. And, uh, and Julian Clary. Yeah and various other really wonderful people, and yeah. um, I think it's going to be a blast. Fabulous. So you're doing it for your kids, like the grandchildren, that's lovely. Yeah, well, for, and for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you going to be playing a baddie? Do you... Very much so. Quite right. And I've got a whip, and my tail is a whip, and I'm right. going to give Nigel electric shocks, whether he likes it. <laughs> oh, <like>. very good, <laughs> very good. Um, do you take, is Alexis your kind of role model for a baddie then? From well, the Alexis wasn't really that bad. She was uh, just very cunning, clever and devious. This one's really bad. The Queen Rat is, uh, is very, very bad. And we start rehearsals tomorrow, so, you know, it's all a work in progress, really. I mean, it's amazing. We start tomorrow and we put it, it opens on the 18th. Quite terrifying. I'm not terrified. I've just done a one-woman show. Nothing can be exactly. more terrifying than that. Believe that. me. Fabulous. Yeah. Wonderful stuff. Well, Wonderful. Um, and what about you, Joan? Do you, can you imagine life without credit cards anymore? Um, you mean just one? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you have? I, have, I, you know, we got rid of all the store cards except two store cards yeah. because those are the ones that really kill you the yes. store cards so um i just have a couple i'm not going to say what they are but they're the two stores, perhaps, yeah. maybe. yes yeah. thank you yeah. <laughs> you're right yeah. <laughs> now you mentioned your one woman show back in new yeah. york a little bit earlier on you have been telling stories of the famous names that you've met in your career so we just want to try and confirm a few things find out if they're true or not okay. right is it true that you were given the brush off by frank sinatra <laughs> 
Well, I, yeah, I don't know whether you'd call it the brush off. But, um, I was doing a movie in England, and he called me and said, would I like to have dinner that night? And I said, yeah. yes. He said, I'll send my plane for you. And I said, your plane? Where are you? He said, Hamburg. I said, I can't go to Hamburg. You know, I've got an early call. He said, I'll get your call changed, kid. I said, well, you can't do that. I'm a serious actress. And he hung up on me. <gasps> I said, oh, my God. And he never called me again. So you don't mess with old blue eyes. Lost. I think it was the right decision. Yeah. Yeah. Hamburg. Um, also, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> there was something wrong with this kiss with Bing Crosby. Let's have a look. Let's not be sensible. Let's just start falling in. Let's please be sensible. Let's please. Like hold it back there, John. So ah, the well, answer? darling, it's called acting. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, um, the, the, he was very aloof, actually. He was quite aloof and kind of grumpy, and he smoked this pipe. So doing that scene of kissing him was like kissing an ashtray. Oh, Yeah, right. it was kind of one of those old-fashioned pipes, you know, that they keep on putting tobacco in. I know I'm probably going to offend a lot of Bing Crosby fans here, but say la vie. <laughs> um, just also as well, and Betty Davis apparently actually kicked you, did she? She in did. A rage she or? did. Well, I don't know what it was, but I was doing this scene with her, and I was her lady in waiting. That's it, yeah. yeah. And I had to lee, kneel down and do up her shoe because they had those shoes, mm -hmm. and and her foot got, took on a life of its own and wiggled and wriggled and kicked me across the set. I don't know why, but she was. I think it was because she had this really tight collar and this red wig and this corset, and mm -hmm. her head was shaved. And she didn't like any of us. There's another one of the ladies in waiting. There were six of us, all under the age of 21, and I don't think she liked any of us, okay. even though we smoked. <laughs> yes, there's more information and links on our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash at the one show. Now, Joan, you were looking away during that film half the time. Yeah. I mean, is it cases like that that really concern you? Because you say you're, you know, you're quite frightened of, of cosmetics. I'm, so. I'm squeamish, first of all, and yeah. I'm a bit needle phobic. Mm -hmm. And um, I really don't like the sight of blood. I mean, you want to another li a long list of everything I really don't I uh, even I don't people in masks because that. that you would just even yeah when they were well I thought they were going to show yeah. all the blood again and they have it so much on American TV yeah. with those um, you know doctor shows so I spend a lot of time doing that with my remote so it's not something that you would consider then and you look you look fantastic thank you do you get annoyed with people who think well you look amazing they assume that people who look as amazing as you do, have had something done. Yeah, I don't get annoyed with them, but I, you know, I can understand it. It's just that you know, if you have a certain amount of luck it, mm. from the gene pool, I mm. think that you owe it to yourself and your parents to try and look after it. So I have been really very, very um, determined to take care of my skin and my body since a very early age, since my early 20s, because I was told if you don't start you know, really young, yeah. um, it'll all fall apart, and then it'll be more difficult. And I have had three children, mm -hmm. you know, and the first time I gained 32 pounds, Ooh. which I don't know Ooh. how much that is in kilos. I don't do kilos. I live in America most of the time. Is, so. is it right that you can still do the splits? Yes, I did them in the one-woman show, Fantastic. yeah. Well, I, my grandmother taught me, so I've been doing them, you know, since I was three, and because yeah. I'm very, very flexible and I exercise, I hate exercise. Yeah. Hate it, but I yeah. do it, and I, I do it on the floor, and I do a little bit of free weights, and I do a yeah. lot of crunches and sit-ups. Well, it's all worth it. Has to be said. No, it is. Anyway, it's been snowing through the course of today, so treacherous conditions, yeah. especially on untreated surfaces. Right, you're delighted about that, aren't you, John? Not really. I have to drive <laughs> up to Birmingham tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So take it easy. Take care. Take good luck with that, and good luck yeah. with the Panthers. Thank you yeah, so I'm much. I'm sure you're going to have Thank an you. absolutely super time in Thank Birmingham. Good luck Thank with you. it, all, John. Thanks Thank a lot. You so much.